Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Sergey with learningconstruction.org and today I want to talk to you guys about the uh, mushroom exhaust fans. Uh, these fans are uh, pretty simple, it's pretty common too, you've probably seen them in a lot of restaurants. We uh, mainly use them for uh, restaurant use. Uh, typically, when you see one of these ones, it's probably going to be the exhaust fan on the um, dishwashing kitchen hood. So the dishwasher is right underneath us and there's going to be a hood there to get rid of the moisture that comes out of the dishwasher and it comes through this unit. So what I want to show you is how this unit works and just basically how it's uh, wired. Alright, so the first thing is the chase. Uh, you got to remember when you're framing your kitchen, uh, just make sure that your, uh, all your truss layout and everything that needs to be installed on this thing, it's exactly laid out where your hood is going to be. So when you, when you have the floor plan of your kitchen, it's very important for you to know where your kitchen hood is going to be. So you can check that layout and put it on the chase. Once you have your truss layout adjusted, you can put the chase on this uh, unit. And uh, the units, these are fairly light. These are probably about 100 pounds, 120 pounds. They're yeah, that, really light or so. Um, and then electrically, it, it's a fairly simple unit. These are about 120 volts. As you can see, the power came over here. Power goes into this control box that comes with the unit. These are typically come with the unit. Uh, in some other units, you have to install the disconnect box. If the unit didn't come with the control box, you're probably going to install one of these uh, disconnect boxes. Not the end of the world. So this box over here will have the fuse and the disconnect for it. Once the power goes out of the disconnect box, it will come into this uh, mushroom cord. And what this mushroom cord has in here, I'm going to show you right now, is the actual motor. Now, the motor, as you can see, this thing is brand new, it still has the instructions in it. The motor inside of it is also going to have a speed control, and the speed control is used to balance the building. So I'm going to talk to you guys about balancing in another video, uh, but for right now it's important for you guys to know that this, this unit, just like any other unit in the building, needs to be balanced, which means it can be pulling more air than you want it to. Uh, remember these units are exhausting the air from the inside of the building, so something needs to push the air back in. And that is the reason why most of the kitchens have the uh, make up air unit, but sometimes what they have is they'll have the make up air unit in the typical and the usual air conditioning going into the building, blowing the air inside so it can be exhausted. That regulator over there is to balance that air so the air doesn't come too much and this guy over here and is sucking all the air from the inside of the building. You don't want that either. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Um, so once again, you have the hood over here and the flue that is going above. It's exhausting the air out of this dishwashing machine. And that's it, folks. So, construction. These are a few tips about this one. Remember to check your layout with your trusses when you're installing this, when you're, when you're installing the hood. You want to make sure that you don't put obstructions in the flue, otherwise it will be pretty difficult. And remember, kitchens usually have a pretty narrow space between the ceiling and the roof. So you want to make sure you have, you have space. Uh, number two, these units, they either have a connection to a switch in the wall, in this case, this uh, actual hood is interlocked with the dishwasher, which is a pretty standard thing. So you want to make sure that before, beforehand you know that this unit is either interlocked with the kitchen hood and you're going to have wires ready for the interlock or you're going to put it on the wall. Uh, as a tip, I always recommend you to ask the chef or whoever you're building the kitchen for if you're gonna go with a switch, where do they want the switch? Because remember, they'll be using the kitchen. And number three, dishwasher, she's the one who tells you where the hood goes, not the other way around. Remember, there's so much equipment in the kitchens that you want to make sure this is the guy that tells you where the hood and the unit is gonna go. Even though the plants may show you a location on the, on the, on the roof, don't worry about it. This is the guy that tells you where it goes.
And well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments or uh, there's something else you want to review, please send me a, an email or just comment on the box below at learningconstruction.org. And uh, once again, thank you very much.